This is our England tour 2009. We took the hop on hop off bus to look around Cambridge. Because we were already short of time, we got off and visited a few sh spots only. Here's an image of um, the Red Tour around the city of Cambridge. We drove past the St Andrews um, Anglican Church and it was built in the Gothic style in 1843. The church was first recorded in English books in the 1200s and has been rebuilt a number of times. And this building is the Faculty of Human Science at the University of Cambridge. It's a more modern faculty established in 2011 and of course a merger of two other departments. That's the way of modern universities. And then we drove down opposite to Sussex Street and you'd see Ken's music shop on the left. Wesley Methodist Church built in 1913 to encourage Methodist University students to participate in church in the city of Cambridge. Jesus College was built on the huge grounds, uh, quite a rich college and part of the Cambridge University structure. Bridge Street, Magdalene Bridge over the Cairn River. We drove past the Cairn River Jesus Lockfoot Bridge. That, um, that's very popular with punts. The St Gillies Church in Castle Street was founded in 1092. The Museum Cambridge on the corner. Then we crossed over the Magdalen Bridge again. You can see all the punts laying quiet with hardly any people. If you haven't already noticed, you could just about call Cambridge the city of bikes. There's so many bikes around and, and hardly any traffic other than buses. And here is the parish church of St Clement on the left, first built in the 13th century and rebuilt a number of times since. It's called the Round Church, it's an Angl Anglican parish. ADC Theatre, a Cambridge University faculty uh, church, I didn't get the name of this one. There was a whole heap of these narrow streets in Cambridge full of old terrace houses. This church with a long name is a Roman Catholic church built in the 1880s. Another one of Cambridge University's buildings or faculties. A museum built by Viscount Fitzwilliam in or around about 1816. On the left is an English parish church by the name of Little St Mary's Church, built in the 12th century. St Baltus Church, built in the 17th century. Queen's College 
Cambridge, established in the 14th century. This is the Senate House, opened in the 1730s and used for meetings and graduation ceremonies for the Cambridge universities. King's College was originally established by King Henry VI until he was, I believe, overthrown and then King Henry VII a um, hundred years later finished the building and um, it, this building is watered by one of the main streets and also you can view it from the Cam River side. This corpus clock was designed and built by a bloke called Taylor and opened in 2008 by Stephen Hawking. Uh, I remember Stephen Hawking as the scientist that's wheelchair bound and famous. You can watch a few videos on YouTube about him. Corpus Christi College was established in 1352 by obviously a Roman Catholic Corpus Christi group. It's one of the smaller universities, but one of the oldest in Cambridge. The Mathematical Bridge was first built in 1749 and has been rebuilt since a number of times. It's a wooden bridge and you can see the structure is quite unique. As I've already mentioned, there's a whole heap of punts on Cam River and you can hire them or hot and hire a person to row it. And as we cross over the Cam River Bridge into Silver Street, we'll see the Queen's College on the left again with uh, the route of laneways in and out of the different departments and colleges and the master's garden on the left there. And if you don't already know, Cambridge is a university town full of these little university buildings and lots and lots of students. There's the Magdalene Bridge again, and uh, we're going to pass on the riverside of the Cam River, and there's a view of the King's College in the distance, and you can see it's under, under repair or under reconstruction. Then we travelled right out to the Cambridge American Cemetery, and we didn't hang around too long, just for a few photographs and such, but this is where a lot of American soldiers and airmen were buried during World War II. The video was produced by myself and it's the end of another exciting video about England tour 2009 of Cambridge using the hop-on hop-off bus service.